Let's talk about energy storage. That's a fascinating place for me. We're in a world, actually, by the way, where we have a reactor in the sky, free energy. The problem is we can't store it. And guess who's there? Who's the number one mega pack storage provider on the planet? And that is Tesla. Coincidentally, but it's a car company. No, it's not. Not at all. Not by any stretch. But what's interesting about this is the energy storage business will outgrow the automotive, automotive business. Uh, Elon said that. And he also said... They had record profitability in their mega pack business. We'll break that down in a second. I think their storage deployments are 4.1 gigawatt hours in Q1, which is massive. Uh, coincidentally, I didn't put in here, but they also, about three weeks ago, created 1,000 cyber trucks in a week. So annualized as 50,000, and they're still going through ramping hell. So that's pretty quick. That means they will get to 150, 250,000 within a year or so, pretty much based on their experience with other products although it's a very complex product. Anyway, back to the energy business. What's fascinating about this is there will be infinite demand for data centers, and data centers need energy. And if you're in a place like California, where sometimes there are power outages because it's run by PG&E in some cases, they're going to need these mega packs. And Tesla have demand out the wazoo for years into the future, and they can charge whatever they want. And therefore, they're making over 25% margins in these puppies, Re record mega pack sales and margins. I think revenues are up not that much, I think 7 8% year over year, but, but it takes some time to realize the revenue. So the customer will buy it, then they'll make it, then they'll ship it, then they'll implement it, and then they don't get the money until it's actually operational for a certain period of time, which is a problem. But their margins, the gross profit was up 140% year over year for this mega pack business, which is huge. 